Hey you guys, we're here in my closet and I'm about to do an unboxing of Lions Leather Co. Um, the mail lady just arrived and I was like, ah, and I just, I'm in here because this was the only clean part of the house today. <laughs> my kids are just kind of all over the place and I was like, you know what, I cannot wait, I have to do this right away. So we're here in my closet and we're gonna do an unboxing. So I'm so excited to show you what I have. And also, I you know what, we'll just do like a full collection reveal of all the Lions pieces I am so thankful to have. Okay, one of the things I greatly appreciate is they still send um, dust bags and a lot of companies today just like skip over that spot or that thing, you know what I mean? They just don't care. Um, so I am so grateful that Lions gives you a dust bag. And this is like, I think it's like a cotton blend, maybe a little bit of canvas, not sure, but it's breathable. You can see it's breathable and that's what you want. You want your leather to be able to breathe when it's in storage, but you don't want like dirt and dust to get in the pores of the leather. So this is perfect for allowing for breathability, but not like, you know, allowing the dust to get in the bag. Oh my goodness, you guys. Well, first of all, let's look at the paperwork. Okay, love this. I have a, I have several of these cards that I'm saving. I don't know why I'm saving them. I don't need to save them, but I do. Oh my goodness. Look at this beauty. This is honey. Oh, striations. Love it. This is the um, biggie. And the way to tell if you have a biggie or not is to look at the gusset. So the regular bee is a little bit thinner. This is beautiful. Ooh, I like it. Let's look at the interior. Mm, it smells so good. There's that gorgeous interior. Ah! And of course, the straps are adjustable, which is what I just love about this brand. I feel like the, the hallmark of this brand is, number one, the shape of the bag of course, which is so cool and unique. But secondly, a very close second, if not tied for number one, <laughs> is these straps. So this is how it is at the most smallest, but you can expand it. You can adjust the size by simply unsnapping these, like so. And then you can put it around your waist. You can wear it like a sling bag. There's so many different ways. You can just like hang it over your shoulder. And I tend to go for, I usually like three that are not snapped. That usually works for me. And you guys probably heard that coming up in the spring here, Lisa is offering um, different size straps. So they're already adjustable, which is great. But then you can choose um, straps that are longer which is gonna be so so very cool look at this you guys ah how fun is that that is just that is fun this is gonna be my summertime bag like and this bag as do all lions bags they just like scream adventure fun like i just want to go places and do things <laughs> when i see these bags okay so that was the honey biggie this is so classic i mean it's just the perfect leather color so very very thankful for that okay let's see what else is in here <laughs> all right one more piece so oh this is the cognac card again the cognac has just intrigued me so much this is the regular b i love it um, you can see the gusset is smaller, so that's why this is the regular bee. But what intrigues me about the gusset, I mean the, um, the cognac, is, I don't know if you've noticed, but like different leather brands call cognac different things. Like it can be any shade of brown or even orange. Like Abel, their cognac is an orange, a very pigmented orange. Um, but this cognac is just so pretty. It has like just the littlest hint of red in it but I would still call it you know brown but that is so pretty okay now I'm most excited to see the interior because from the pictures this is the prettiest interior that I think 
there is. So let's take a look at it together. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so, that is so pretty. Lisa, I hope you never change the cognac's interior because I love this fabric. Love, love, love. Oh, and look at this. Um, and I'm going to show you my other pieces in my collection. This is a wider um, pocket for like lip gloss. And I'm so glad because I actually have a lip gloss that's like really, really thick. Um, so that's going to fit so nicely in there. I had been using my smaller, um, I have other ones that are like a smaller size lip gloss holder. And um, I had been putting like little perfume samples in there. They worked perfectly. Okay, so let me show you the other two that are in my Lions collection. This is the blush, and this is in biggie size, you can see. I have it stuffed right now with socks, because I have an abundance of socks. So I find that socks are like just the perfect thing to stuff a bag with, because I just want it to keep its shape. It's funny, like some bags I don't stuff because I want them to get like floppy and squishy and then others I want to stuff and I want them to keep their shape. I'm so weird. But anyway, um, so this is the blush, which I'm so thankful that I grabbed um, right before they sold out. But the great thing is um, there is more coming for spring and it might even be on the website now because she did restock, which was so cool. Um, and, you know, also a thing to keep out keep an eye out for with this brand are seconds sales, which is so nice. This is the time of year. It's February. Um, this is about the time of year where um, you'll see uh, Lisa list for sale seconds. So they're bags that have just a little some small imperfection, although like all leather does have unique characteristics. But um, anyway, you can save a little money if you check out the second sale. They sell out like really fast. So you got to act quick. But um, it's a nice option to um, to give to give it a try. And then here is my two tone biggie, which also sold out and I think is coming back this spring. Um, you can see that it's wider in the gusset. This is the one I've been reaching for the most, you guys. I don't know why. I just well, I do know why. It's fantastic. It's edgy. It's cool. I love the interior. I think it really competes with the cognac interior. <laughs> it's just so cute. And then. What I love about this is it just mixes, it brings together black and brown, which I don't always follow the rules. Like sometimes I'll do like a black dress or something and then I will actually do like brown shoes. I know that looks weird, but I feel like I can pull it off sometimes. And then when you do this, it just like really seals the deal. Um, so this is just, it's just so much fun. It's just not expected. I think when you see someone wearing a black bag to then suddenly see like a pop of brown. So that's the honey on the gusset, which I absolutely love. So if you are interested in knowing the sizes of these bags, I have some info for you. So the regular B, which I have in the cognac, the regular B um, is 10.5 inches by 5.5 inches by 2.5 inches. So the gusset is 2.5 inches. And I feel like the gusset is really gonna show you um, or is really going to allow you to either stuff or not stuff your bag. I thought for sure that I was going to be Biggie B all the way and that the regular Bs were gonna be too small for my liking. Um, but I had a friend who had the regular B and I checked it out and I was like, oh my gosh, that regular B actually looks fantastic and she showed me all that she had in her bag and I was like I could totally rock that so very grateful to have a regular size B to work with there's not much difference so it's just something to think about and then the strap lengths for the B's right now are um they go from the straps are 20.5 inches long each and including the body of the bag they decrease to you can like you know, have a range of 27 inches all the way up to 52 inches. So you can really, there's a lot of flexibility there. And then let me tell you the Biggie B size. So the Biggie B size is, do I have that? I like, I like keep cards on all my bags. I know I'm weird, but I like to, here we go. Okay. I like to just know what I have. <laughs> and I find like flipping through flashcards is like an easy way to be like, oh yeah, I want to use this bag. Um, so the Biggie B is 12 by six by three. So the gusset obviously is a little bit bigger. So is the overall bag. 
And then again, the straps range from 29 inches up to 53 inches. Is that what I told you before? I feel like that's a little bit different. Oh yeah, okay. So I have a little bit of conflicting. Oh, okay. So there's a little bit of a difference. So the regular B, the range there is from 27 inches to 52 inches for the strap. And then the big EB goes from 29 inches to 53. So they're very similar. Um, yeah, like you can't go wrong. So anyway, so that was my B collection. And I still think this one is my favorite, but I cannot wait. I cannot wait to incorporate this into my wardrobe because that is such a good, like you can kind of see the colors that I often wear. They're not really bright are they there's a lot of neutrals in my wardrobe this is my husband's stuff but um just holding this up with all my stuff like I can see that this is going to go really well maybe I'm going to get even more use than this I don't know but for spring and we only have a few more days till spring you guys this one is going to get so much use because it's just so pretty and I can't wait to see how this patinas like the blush is going to change with exposure to sunlight and the oils of my hands and whatnot and it's gonna like darken but get this like delicious shiny patina which is gonna be really really interesting I go back and forth with patina like sometimes I want my bags to just like stay pure as they were when I first got them and then other times like I I really appreciate the bags of friends that are like you know totally covered in patina and have been exposed to the elements and they look awesome so I don't know. I'm open to it all. I love it all. And then this honey, look how that honey looks. It's just fantastic. Honey is great. Honey is always good. And I love that these, um, you can kind of see underneath here, there's a, um, a little, um, snap. What's great about the interior of these lion's bees is you don't even need a wallet if you don't want to. They do sell wallets that fit perfectly in these pockets, but um, you don't have to use a wallet if you don't want to. And I find that really can save me space um, because there's enough varied pockets in here that I can just like sort my things and get what I need. And honestly, I love all kinds of bags, but like some of these smaller ones, like the regular B, like, who's to say I can't even just use this as a wallet, you know? Like, I can throw this into a larger bag, and then when I go into the store, if I don't want to carry the larger bag with the kids' snacks and the diapers and everything, I can just, you know, use this. So it has it has multiple, multiple benefits, multiple uses. So anyway, thank you so much for taking a look at my collection, and let me know what you're going to order. I'm so eager and always eager to hear, like, what people are thinking about, looking for, um, I guess I'm an enabler, but it gets me excited to like motivate other people to be like, yeah, let's try this for the summer. So anyway, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.